Hello everybody, ha! And welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders 2 with me, Get Daved. People are sleeping on the floor, we should probably try to better that. Yeah. Not so happy. A, a couple people are a little happy. Oh my goodness. pretty scarce at a couple points. Now, who would have thought farming was such a good way of producing it? Who would have thought you could get more food than you can with foraging this way? Alright. Now we have some work to do in our bathroom. Those are some ceramic sconces. They're looking good. Okay. Oh man. All the things we're gonna need. Okay, obviously a wash tub. You know what? Let's get a couple in there. Couple pots. Maybe more than one wash tub. So they can talk while they wait their turn, I guess? I don't know what I'm thinking now. All right. Maybe you could just give me a recipe. I think I already did it. This has got to be to get to level 2. Alright. Alright, so this was all just to <laughs> let us know about something we already did. I wish they would rewrite some of the cutscenes, or some of the quests, for it's like, I was gonna ask you to do this, but you already have. Oh, wow. Worm food. Alright. Okay, so it's like a scarecrow, but for nice looking things. interfered with it. I think right here would be a good location for it. Probably not going to farm right here. Let him do his thing. Let's see what uh, the true believer wants. <laughs> Poor guy. Maybe if we ring the bell. Go on. So all the stuff. A small room. Okay.
It would probably be good to have near the farms. Maybe we'll, we'll build it into, uh... Whoops. I did not mean to do that. That looks lined up. We're not going to have nearly enough to uh, fortify this side, but that's okay. Honestly, this probably keeps them out just because the base is so high. This is whoops, where I'm going to build the, the barn, I think. There we go. No, that's too small. Because we don't want it to be tiny. We don't want a tiny room, we want a small room. They're a different thing. But that would be excessive. We should be happy. All right. Ooh. Yeah, I'd say he already has. the look of grass so you know we'll, we'll try to figure that out sooner rather than later <laughs> all right do your thing kaboom nope Chin up. Yeah, you're great at it, you know? Oh, and they marked all the things we need to build. That's very helpful. And I'm out of wood. Oh boy. Well, I guess I could try going to get some. So abundant. All right, got a small little roof. Uh -huh. 
I mean, I think we're gonna have to widen it one more notch. The asymmetry is gonna kill me. Or two. And we're gonna also need to go on a little journey to get a little bit more wood. That should not take long. The nice thing is you get more than, I mean, in Builders 1, you would get one or two for every wood you would, or every tree you would chop down. Oh, good luck, Drakis. Really, I mean it. got half of what we had at our highest point in terms of wood scraps already. That was a pretty good minute. No, don't stop, Malroth. Keep getting it. Please? There we go. He got the hint. Okay, we'll let him do his thing for a minute. Good on. Yeah, we've got rope. Sure, I'll take a sack of wheat. Oh my goodness. So if we brambled right there. That might work as a way of keeping them, like, automatically killing them, which would be really nice. Okay. Ah, uh, yes! This is what I forgot to put in the bathroom! Here we go. We should be good for quite a while with that much. See, I think just destroying and rebuilding is faster than using the glove. Partly because I'm really clumsy with the glove, but also, you know, we can get... plunk any old blocks here so we can actually get out the door very easily. Because you can get... You can get into trouble. If your door is, like, elevated one thing, I don't think you can open it. If it's one block up. All right, and this should still be small, but it'll be a more convenient. So that's perfect. Get a light source in there, because you know, you want to be able to see around in your shed. did we need in there? Do we need the cloth sack on the roof? 
We'll go ask him again in a minute. I do want to get my towel bar taken care of, though. Yay! They're loving it. Let's try picking it up. There we go. Pretty fun way of picking up gratitude, too. Alright, jerk face, what did you want? Oh yeah, the chest, obviously. And the rope. Also, they're very nicely and conveniently marked. That will help. There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> he got cast out. You know what, for safety purposes. Yay! Yeah, actually he can turn you into a dog. A little reference to what happened to the Princess of Moonbrook. An absurd number of cabbage seeds. Perfect. Alright, I'm afraid I punted you out again, good sir. He'll, he can hopefully route his way to the door. Alright everyone, in this episode we gained ourselves a barn and a toilet. Things are looking up. And the wall we talked about for so very long. It's coming. Okay, let me mask. Oh, we're not going to have nearly enough to finish. But maybe we can get around the corner. Maybe even to where I'm going to put the door on the other side. Because I think the base is 64 by 64 now. So just doing one side is going to take 128 blocks. And we've got got more than that. But yeah, it looks like we have more than enough to get here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, these sorts of accidents I don't think will occur as often once the wall is done, because we won't spill out the same way. Alright, not bad. Yeah, let's just do 10. I want to save some of my wood so we don't have a repeat incident. And yeah, I guess since we're in the dead of night and the ghosts can teleport, we should... Oh no, I won't be able to build another bed. Yeah, we're just going to have to expand that. 
I like that people are still chilling out in the barn, though. It's, um, it's a happening place. Alright, so... I have a theory... That if I put the wheat seeds in here... People will plant them. Let's see if it happens. Okay. Just put some bags here so people can, you know, chuck your clothes in there before you go in for the bath. It'll be a good time. Oh, yeah. That should be very easy to do. As a matter of fact, it'll take seconds. I was thinking of uh, working on the kitchen though, right? We have the recipe for the bread basket and so on. Maybe we can get going on that. Also, I am going to keep increasing the yield of the cabbage farm because this is secretly what's sustaining my HP and, um, and my hunger meter. In this game, um, if you run out of food, you don't die. Like, that's what happened in Builders 1. One sec, I need to think. We should we have ourselves a little kitchen and that's where we'll put the restaurant. Put the treasure chest full of food. I think so, and let's do it right here. Whoops. Actually planning on going all the way down. Yeah, we'll layer it up again and then we'll be okay. Alright. We've got a plan. Don't know if it's a good one, but it's the plan we have. And if you're wondering, does Dave love the layout that's been chosen for this place? The answer is no, but we'll really uh We'll really worry about that sort of thing on our own island. Once we ditch these posers. There we go. And 74, it might just be enough, but we'll get a couple more blocks just to be sure. Tiny restaurant. I keep calling it a restaurant. It's really just a kitchen. Which is pretty much the exact same thing, right? I mean, one's just as fun as the other. Also, I might just be projecting. I think I'm hungry right now. don't need this in here. For a ridiculously over large bathroom. We're 
gonna need a cook fire. Pardon me, a bonfire. Oh, actually... Wow, you really don't want me opening that treasure chest. I kept trying so hard to do it the right way. Alright. Gonna lodge a complaint? Mapping the uh, the pickup button, or the the, the ro like the switcher thing icon. There we go. Put thirty cabbages in there. Hmm. Are you happy, Perry? Independent. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, I did not know we would eventually run out of seeds. Hmm. Well, try not to think about the lack of sustainable development we've been doing this whole time. What was the... I could do a couple more cook fires. Literally burn the last of the wood. If I put wheat on a fire, will it? Oh, hey! Upgraded. Will that, like, cook it? Or is there some sort of alchemy we need to do? We'll find out soon enough. run out and get a couple basic materials real quick. One. Two, three. Yeah, we're actually going to need a lot more of this because we need to expand our sleeping capacity quite a bit. Don't stop, Malroth. Okay, that's almost four more beds. And now it is. You gonna go to town on these trees for me? There we go. Right, do your thing, Malroth. Alright, he'll be fine. And no, it's not in the center, that's fine. It lines up well with the town. Well, they're knobbing away. So I guess every time they eat, they produce a gratitude? So that's one way we could really be farming gratitude. Pretty hungry. Let's try some bread. Eh, not bad. So it's actually more filling than cabbage. All right. A small kitchen diner. That, that's pretty awesome, right? 
Just like this little, <laughs> this little scene where people can get trapped. Yeah. Yeah, you bet. Oh, are you gonna ask me to build a kitchen? It's like a dining room table. All right. Well, we can probably make that happen pretty quickly. I was gonna end the video, but you know what? His request was so humble. Let's we'll do four chairs. Because I don't want to burn through all the wood again. All right. You want to you wanna watch the fields? You're going to do it on the finest hardwood paneling. The point that it may be difficult to actually get to the table. Oh, it's a small table. That won't do. Oh, he only really wants a small table. Okay. Then I guess it will do. Okay, that's cool that it doesn't all have to be in rooms. What a neat twist. All right. <laughs> Building's great. Sure. Make sets go on. <laughs> okay, so you want to eat in the morning and the evening. Well, that is a problem we will deal with next time. Oh. You know what? We're going to have a. Uh... We're going to have a different problem next time, but it'll be a good time as well. I'll see you there, everyone. Thanks for watching.